Hello everyone. My name is Akash Sawant and I welcome you all on behalf of Vidyalanga classes to the new semester. Now in this particular lecture we are going to learn a very very important topic from the subject of advanced manufacturing process which is also called as AMP. This subject is very important from the perspective of third year diploma branch for the mechanical students right so let us understand a very important topic from the subject which is ajm which is also called as abrasive jet machining right now to understand this particular topic let us look at the components of the machine first so the components are very simple we have a hopper in which some amount of abrasive particles are stored then we have a rectangular box which is called as mixing chamber then we have a pipeline through which we supply high pressurized gases there is a pressure gauge and a regulator to regulate certain parameters of this gas then we have a outlet pipe which is then connected to a nozzle and this nozzle is kept directly above the workpiece on which machining has to be done now let's understand what do you mean by abrasive jet machining Abrasive jet machining is a machining process in which material is removed from the surface of the workpiece with the help of certain abrasive particles. Now, what do you mean by abrasive particles? These are certain very tiny small particles, sand-like structure with a diameter up to 0.025 mm. These materials are made up of sometimes silicon, carbide or nitrate. Now, let us understand ki how this particular machine functions. Now, first what we do is, we place certain amount of abrasive particles in the hopper and then depending upon the requirement, with the help of regulator, we allow the particles to settle down into the mixing chamber. So as we can see, this particular mixing chamber is partially filled with the abrasive particles, right? Now fill the chamber in such a way that it will cover the mouth of this particular supply gas pipe. Now once it has been covered, once it has covered the mouth of supply gas pipe, then what we do is, we start the supply for high pressurized gas. Now this high pressurized gas can be either nitrogen or it can be a carbon dioxide gas. Now depending upon the required pressure, we will control the regulator and allow the high pressurized gas to enter into the mixing chamber. Now once the gas starts entering, it will get mixed with this particular abrasive particles and create a mixture of abrasive particles and high pressurized gas. In order to increase the amount of abrasive particles in the gas supply, what we use is, is a vibrator. As we start increasing the amplitude of vibrator, more and more amount of abrasive particles starts getting mixed with the gases. Now this mixture of high pressurized gas and the abrasive particle is then taken out into the outer pipe, outer pipe which is directly connected to the nozzle. Now when this mixture enters the nozzle, the high pressure energy of gas and abrasive particle gets converted into kinetic energy. Now because of increase in kinetic energy, the velocity of abrasive particles increases drastically. Now with this high velocity, the abrasive particle comes and impinges on the surface of the workpiece. Now when it impinges on the surface of workpiece, it will create a tiny fracture on the surface. Now this fracture will keep on increasing with the repeated process or repeated hammering with the abrasive particles and eventually the material from the surface of workpiece will be removed. The removed material and the used abrasive particles are then again carried away with the high pressurized gas so that the new surface of the workpiece is exposed and the machine can be repeated. So student, this was the working of abrasive jet machine a very important topic from the exam point of view. We have started this particular, we are going to start this particular subject in Vidyalankar classes. So I recommend all of you to join us at your nearby centers. Thank you.